What's up guys, Izzy D back here with the uh, video number 3 update. Uh, I'm going to show you guys in this video how to how to combine multiple bins. Like if you download a file that has multi bins in it. How to convert. Here's Mega Man 3. Hold on. Back out. Mega Man X3 for uh, the European version. But still a badass game. Anyway. Okay, so the game I'm going to give an example. The game I'm using as an example is Ninja Shadow of the Dark of Darkness. Have yet to play it. It looks decent, but um, I downloaded the folder. Here it is. Ninja Shadow of Darkness. So I'm going to open my download. And you're going to see you're going to they're going to be telling me download things and you're going to see this multiple bins. Scroll all the way down. You should see a Q file here. So what you're gonna want to do is what I do is I highlight everything inside the folder, all of them. So there's like I don't know 44 bins, one Q sheet. I drag it over to another folder on my side. I have it labeled uh, PSX games. You don't have to label it that way, but I just do. And uh, I'm gonna use a program. This program right here, it's called CD Mage. CD Mage. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, CD Mage B5. So just uh, Google CD Mage. Let me see if I can find it in my downloads. That way you guys know what to look for. It's called CD Mage. This is what it. So how I download is what I look like. CD Mage 1-02-1B5. Um, but yeah, this program here, it'll combine all the bins into one file, and it'll 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 overwrite your Q sheet, and it'll rewrite you a new bin. But it'll be all the bins combined into one. So now that we've copied this over, you're gonna open my my PSX games. All the bins are in here with the Q sheet at the bottom so what you're gonna do all you, you don't have to touch anything in CD Mage just get the program and you're gonna go to folder go search to wherever you put uh, your bins in whatever folder you added it to and you're gonna go all the way to the bottom to the Q sheet and you click your Q sheet you're gonna open it and it's gonna show it all here see that oh 40 something bin tracks are in there uh, so what you're gonna all you're gonna do is hit this save. The floppy disk. You're gonna hit save. And it's gonna open this. It's gonna go back to that folder where it got the Q the Q file from. All you're gonna do is hit save. This 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 file is labeled exactly as the the Q inside the folder. You're just gonna overwrite it. You're gonna hit save. It's gonna say Ninja Shadow of Darkness Q already exists. Would you like to replay? You're gonna hit yes. When you hit yes. It's gonna bring up this, this mode two. Don't touch anything here. All you have to do is just click OK and let the process, let that little blue bar finish up. It's gonna tell you when it's completed. Okay, so it's gonna say save completed successfully. You're gonna hit OK and you're just gonna hit. This is what I do. I hit this new sheet so it gets rid of everything. Otherwise, you won't be able to delete the files until you close the program or I just hit this new, uh, whatever the fuck that is. Just to clear it. Okay, so we're going to go back in our PSX games. And at the bottom, where the Q file is, right above it is that new bin file. You're going to see the file is 705,000 kilobytes. So that's the, that's, that's the one you need. See, it was created today, January 6, 2019, everything else. Everything else, all the other bins you can delete. Highlight them, the 44 bins. Delete. Boom. There you go. There's your queue and there's your bin. Um, also, another question I've got is people are downloading files and they only have the bin, no queue. So what do you do when that happens? You go to this program. Or this uh, website called the PSX Q Maker. So you guys can see that Niels Bus, Niels Bus dot DK slash PG slash PSX. 
underscore Q underscore maker. Copy all that into your into your web browser. Chrome is the best I feel that I use. And you scroll to the bottom. And all you do is drag your bin file in here. Watch. I'm gonna drag my bin. It's gonna give me the how the Q sheet should look. I grab my bin. Let's just say I didn't have a Q sheet, just grab the bin. Drag it in here. Boom, and it's down here. See, this is what your this is what your Q file should look like. See how I did that? I'm gonna go back. So, but I already have mine. See, I'm gonna right click, open with Notepad, and it's in here already. Track whatever all this. This is just the one that CD Mage created. It can you can use either or. It's still gonna run. So yeah, that's how to combine multiple bins into one. So you can be ready to burn or just to add it to your PS Classic. Alright guys, thanks. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, whatever the fuck. I'll be back for more videos. Thanks. Peace out.